always comes again. Hello? Hello, hello, hello? Is it working? Well, hey, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I was just making sure that everything was working on the audio. Um, well, hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. And today, we're going to be playing a big favourite of mine, actually, growing up, which is Siberia. Now, some of you may actually remember me playing this ages ago when the uh, channel first started. Hi, Bunny. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Sig. <laughs> that made me jump. <laughs> but anyway, hello. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, some of you may remember this um, on the channel ages ago where I just did the first area. But I thought, you know, why not bring it back? It's one of my favourites and it'll be a nice relaxing stream, hopefully. <laughs> And uh, just to let you guys know as well, um, Final Fantasy XV is still definitely 100% going to happen. It's just that at the moment, um, it's been put on hold just while I'm trying to sort out a few things on the systems and everything like that. There's nothing serious. It's just that it's been put on hold just for the time being. It should be back hopefully next month. But if not, I will definitely let you guys know. So yeah, without any further ado, I think we will get started. Thank you for the subtitles there, game. Validilen, the French Alps. It's not really very nice weather, is it? It's raining. And it's a funeral. Great! What an introduction! Oh, and there's our main character, Kate. And the guests are all... Metallic. <laughs> Best way I can put it. I'm trying to remember when this game was actually first released. It's got to be a good 20 years ago, from what I remember. I could be wrong. <laughs> Could definitely be wrong. Oh, well, that's a nice little intro, isn't it? And in it goes. And in we are. All right. So let's see what we can do. This is a little point and click uh, puzzle game. So we just got to pick up items like this leaflet, solve little puzzles and see what we can basically do in order to progress. So let's go down here. Oh, let's see if we can talk to this little boy. Hi there. Hello. Hey, hi there. What are you doing? Can I see? No, too difficult. Momo's work, very difficult. So, your name's Momo. I'm Kate. Momo do like hands. He draw. Hunts? Don't disturb Momo. Momo work difficult. Will you show me your drawing? No, not finished. Go away. <laughs> yeah, wait until we see the finished product, I though. I'll let you <laughs> continue working. Yeah, so you get like a gist of like how this game actually works and everything. I actually got so stuck on this game once that I literally had to um, ask I really for don't help. I don't have the strength <laughs> to take this suitcase any further. 
I wonder who can help me. But that's uh, quite a bit later on. But honestly, I cannot remember that much about certain parts of the game. Like, I remember the first area pretty well. But I can't really remember any of the others properly. So we'll just have to see how things go. Oh, got a look over here. A key! Now what do I do? Uh, to escape. Yeah, there we go. I found the button. Uh, yep, yeah, put it in its back. Push the button. Ding! Okay, okay, I'm coming. And we did our first puzzle, everybody. <laughs> Hi there. Hello there, ma'am. Hello. I would like a room. My company should have made a reservation in the name of Walker. The company is Marson and Lormont Associates. The name is Kate Walker. Of course, Miss Walker. You are in room six on the next floor. Up. Thank you. Uh, I can't imagine Momo helping us out at all because he's too busy with his drawing. So let's ask this guy at the desk. Could you possibly take my luggage up, please? Please do excuse me, Miss Walker. We have oh, been. I believe we have a button chat. Yes, are so rare. Bot these alert. Days. We, we forget our manners. So you're the American woman? Is it true what people say? That you've come Be to gone. buy the factory? <laughs> Not factory. Anna's house. Hans house. Excuse me? Would you quiet down, you mischievous little boy? Ah. Oh. I imagine our little town must disappoint you. You see. Today is very sad for us. It's a day of mourning. Today is the funeral of Miss Anna. I'm almost sad, but Hans not dead. Hans long way away. Anna told Momo. Anna liked Momo very much. That's enough, Momo. Stop pestering the lady. Now go on, scram. Get out of here, you hear? Well, that could have been handled oh, yes, better, I think. But there we Such go. A great loss for Ballet de Laine. It really is. Because now that she's dead, the factory will close. But you're here to stop that happening, aren't you? Our future is in your hands, Miss Walker. What? Anna Varlberg is dead? Wait a minute. Why are we so surprised that she's dead? We saw the funeral. We saw the horse and carriage. And we saw the banner saying Anna. Maybe Anna's a very popular name for where we are. I don't know. Here's your room. I hope you like it, Miss Walker. I'm sure it'll be nice, good sir. Now let me in. Hey. Oh, it is nice, actually. I'll leave actually. you to rest for the time being. You must have a lot of work to do. You know, the takeover of the factory is very good news for us here. It would make us very happy to see life return to our valley. If only you had seen Valadilen before. It was delightful. People came from all over the world to buy Vorlberg automatons. Ah, somebody has left you some mail, I see. Remember, if you that need anything at all, that just looks like a regular all, piece of paper to me. <laughs> it doesn't look like a letter. It's not in an envelope. <laughs> all right, let's just uh, pick that up then. I think. I'm pretty sure there's a raid that we can actually run in this game, but I don't think we're allowed to when we're inside. <laughs> see, without I'm not doing it right. Ah, my eyes are blinded by the light of the paper. Ow. All right. Dear Kate, our client, the Universal Toy Company, is more than eager to see conclusions from the talks with Volberg about manufacturing, review of a takeover in the days to come, and we have received notification to this effect. We are counting on your undoubted qualities as a business lawyer to bring negotiations with Madame Anna Volberg, the current owner, to a close. Yeah, she's not current anymore. She's uh, she's dead. Allow me to remind you that the Universal Toy Company is a multinational which has a monopoly on the toy market. It is a Class A priority client who is also presenting Madame Volberg with a golden opportunity to sell her factory. You should remind her of the fact in case she starts having last minute second thoughts before signing the purchase agreement. I am under no doubt that you will live up to great expectations I have in you. Edward Marson. 
Wow, okay, well we got a lot of pressure on us then to try and sell this factory t from a woman who is now dead. Yeah, yeah, let me get me let me get my pen and paper to get to sign a document from her grave. Bloody hell. I should tell Marson about the death of Miss Varlberg. Gee, you think? This isn't going to get too complicated. I can't see myself staying here too long. Yeah, we're probably going to be here for quite some time, I would have imagined. All right, so... Yep, phone. Okay, let's see if we can find them. Yep, that's it. Office. Hey, I found the number straight away. Go. Very old phone. That'll date it for you. Her phone's Martin the brick. Can, you? <laughs> can you put me through to Mr. Marson, please? It's Kate Walker. Hold the line, please. Oh god, it's got the waiting music as well! Hello, Kate. So tell me, well, how's he's on going? the ball. Normally we have I've to wait like about 15 minutes. And there's a slight problem, Mr. Marson, I'm afraid. Mrs. Vorlberg is dead. Ah, that's most unfortunate. But I seem to remember we made provisions for just such a sad eventuality, and we know that there was no heir. Yes, that's right, but... So where's the problem, Kate? Contact the notary right away. I'll get my secretary to fax you his address and an introduction letter from the firm. Very good, Mr. Marson. Right. I gotta go, Kate. Keep me up to date, okay? I just... <sighs> well, that conversation went well, and somebody has actually redeemed one of the new uh, channel rewards. <laughs> Have me say uwu, okay? <clears throat> uwu? Ta-da! There's other ones like that, by the way. <laughs> you best check them out, everyone. I hope you're happy there, Sigmith, with that. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, definitely. Oh, good. <laughs> I am glad. <laughs> Alright. Hey, I can run! I'm allowed to run! Oh, no, I'm not. God damn it! I did the exact same thing! Aww. Alright, first things first. There was something down here. Momo, drop these. So let's pick these up. I don't mind if I walk, like, all the way through this game. It's fine, but... At, at certain points, you are literally just like, yeah, 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 I want to get to the place quickly. Come on. <laughs> oh, we can look at the table. Ah. He wasn't drawing. He was etching something into the table. Bad Momo. All right, let's go down here. God, I have never seen someone walk so slowly in my life. All right, let's talk to this guy. I'm back again. Miss Walker? All right. Oh, my goodness me. We have a lot of things. Uh, right, we already introduced ourselves, so there's no point seeing Kate. Let's go for a mission. A fax didn't arrive for me, did it? Maybe. I thought I heard the phone ring. Do you think you might want to go and check? Certainly, ma'am. Immediately. Thank you very much. He's not really on the ball, is he? I am not going to read that letter. If people want to read it, you can, uh, you know, watch it back um, when it gets up on YouTube or later on after the stream's done. But it's basically just saying, like, that we need to go and see Maitre Alfaltair, I believe it says there in order to sort out the negotiations with uh, Anna Volberg, even though Anna Volberg is dead. Thank you. At your service. That's basically the gist of it. All right. We don't really need any help from him just yet, so I think we'll just ask these ones here. So what we'll do is we'll actually start with Anna and then Momo, then Hans, and then Automaton. Did you know Anna Volberg yourself? Oh, why, of course I did. I, I mean, well, not really. She was a very great lady. We loved her very much. May she rest in peace. Wow. 
that didn't really give me a lot of information at all. All right then, what about Momo? Who was the boy who was drawing here earlier? Is he your son? Heaven forbid, no, no, not at all. <laughs> He's not a bad boy, no. Momo is just a little simple, that's all. What is his connection with Anna Varlberg? Momo is what you'd call the village idiot, and Anna hey, that's not very nice. He must have reminded her of her younger brother, no doubt. And uh, birds of a feather stick together, don't they? You're implying that Anna Varlberg was a little bit slow as well? Heaven forbid. No, no, not at all. She was a real loner. She kept to herself. That's all. He really dug himself a big, deep hole there, didn't he? <laughs> oh, dear me. Uh, Hans. The young boy who was here earlier talked about uh, uh, Hans. Who is Hans? Uh, Momo was talking about Hans Vorlberg, Anna's younger brother. But he died a long time ago. Nobody here even met him. Wow. Okay, so... Hans is her younger brother, but he passed away somehow. And, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit of a shame. Dang. All right, automaton. I just love all these little mechanical robots. Jesus, that I've was a bit loud all of a sudden. Of <laughs> in my headset. Be Jeez. careful what you say. Vorlberg automatons are not robots. Oh. If you want people to like you here, never, ever pronounce the word robot. <laughs> Okay. Uh, what is the difference between an automaton and a robot, then? <laughs> uh, well, to tell you the truth, no one really knows. Well, that helps. Um, from what I know, automaton has more of, like, um, a soul, if that makes sense. So, um, there are, like, obviously little, like, mechanical like contraptions and things like that, like the ones on the door. But when you saw in at the funeral, the one that was, um, you know, that were walking to the actual funeral and the one that was like banging the drum, to me, that seemed a bit like an automaton because there didn't seem to be like a wind up contraption on those. I could be wrong. But um, from what I saw, the ones that were definitely like walking behind the horse and carriage, they definitely seem to have a bit of like, you know, a knowledge of what was going on, if that makes sense. So to me, they're more automaton than, you know, the others. I, like I said, though, I could be wrong. I, I'm not sure. I'm going to go look around Valady Len. See you later. As you like, miss. All right. So now we're going to go outside. I don't hear any rain. So hey, we're outside. Come on, run for me. There we go. All right, so first off, what we're gonna do is make our way to see our Voltaire. I gotta admit, the music on this game is really good. Ooh, let's talk to this guy. We might be able to get some bread. Good morning. Are you open? Can I buy something from your bakery? No, afraid not. Not possible. We're closed. Aw, dang. Can wait a while. <laughs> you can wait, but we're closed all day. Day of mourning. I'm sorry. Please accept my condolences. Don't worry about it. Because of Madame Vorobold's death, all the shops are closed. Mayor's decision. Try tomorrow. Now, tomorrow I won't be here. That's a pity. Aw. Aw, I won't be able to get fresh bread. God damn it. Nothing wrong with fresh bread. You can't beat it, to be honest. It's lovely. Alright. Well, we can go further down, but this is his um, house. Ah, something on the bench. Probably like a newspaper or something. But it's always best to pick up everything, even if you don't need it. Because you never know, you might need it later on. Hey, it is a newspaper. And that dates it for you. 2002. So this game's 21 years old. I was actually pretty good there. I actually got it pretty dead on. So uh, I'll just read the top article here. Mourning the loss of the Queen of Our Hearts. Let us pay homage today to Anna Volberg, 
who died peacefully yesterday at the age of 86. 86? Wow, she did pretty well. The great lady devoted her life to her business and our community. This formidable woman had an extraordinary energy and a force that allowed our automaton technology to develop and to make our valley continually proud. Her vitality was matched by her generosity and goodness, which has marked all of Valady Lens inhabitants. The mayor of our town has declared today would be a day of collective mourning in honor of Madame Volberg. Her funeral will take place this morning at 10 a.m. in the parish church, officiated by the town's own priest. Wow. Well, she definitely did good, that's for sure. 86, wow. She definitely did good. All right, let's go up the stairs. Oh, it's this lovely contraption. Let me see if I can actually remember what I needed to do. Uh, no, it's not that fax. Let me just double check which one it is. Yeah, it's this one. Take that, put it in the hand. Is it this one first? Yes. And then this one. Holy moly, I remembered everything on that one. Hey, hey. <laughs> so far so good. Gosh, it's so weird how much of this game I, I actually remember. I've not played it in years, to be honest. Well, in a year, basically. <laughs> wow. And we're in. Okay, so let's go down here. I think it's best if we actually walk through this place. <laughs> Alright, uh, in here, I believe, we go. Hello, sir. Miss Walker, I presume. Have you had a good journey? Everything went very smoothly. Thank you. Do take a seat, Miss Walker, please. Oh, before I forget as well, if anybody's actually interested in playing this game, um, the uh, first one and the second one are available on uh, Steam. I believe the third one actually is as well, and the world before. Um, I've not played those two, actually. But Siberia 1 and 2 are available as well on the Nintendo Switch. Which is actually a pretty good um, way of doing it. And if you actually do get stuck on that one, it actually gives you hints. But I wouldn't suggest really using the hints. Because from what I saw, if you had to use them, it does actually reduce the um, amount of um, extras that you get. Because you can also get the artwork available on there so you can actually see them like see all the sketches and things so yeah just thought i better let you guys know in case you're interested in playing this now on with the game i imagine you are aware of the business that brings me here of course i was waiting for you all right before we continue with clicking mission or anything i will just probably talk about these bits I think here. You don't find it suspicious that Madame Varlberg left us so suddenly? What's so suspicious about it? She died. Her death took us by surprise. You can't she plan your own death so unless you, you know, do that. I wouldn't I really would suggest doing never. it though, obviously. Madame Varlberg was not only one of my most faithful clients, she was also a very dear friend. That is a I magnificent automaton you have at your entrance. I'm very proud of it. And since my health problems, it has become absolutely indispensable for me. Yes, indispensable. It was Anna Vorlberg who had the idea. She provided oh, nice. with this kind of machinery. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. It's like the, um, it's not the same thing, but you know, like the doorbells that have the camera. It's almost like that in a way. That's actually really, really cool. I like that. Uh, I think, to be honest with you, out of those options, we might as well just continue with uh, Mission. Uh, Miss Walker, I am afraid that the sale of the Vorlberg factory is not as straightforward as it first seemed. Well, yes, yeah, she's well, dead. Yeah. She Everything can't sign the agreed. document. We'd obtained Anna Vorlberg's consent, and her death does absolutely nothing to invalidate that. Now, I have to be back in New York the day after tomorrow, Metro Alphotair. My client and I are impatient to seal this deal. I understand only too well, Miss Walker. 
<clears throat> yeah, clear your phone, mate. He's uh, an heir, Miss Walker. Huh? Excuse me. Plot an twist, heir? everyone. <laughs> but Madame Varlberg never married, as far as I know. And in my last conversation with her, she absolutely never mentioned this detail. Well, I don't think she really Walker, planned to die. Me, you know what I mean? You are. Anna Vorlberg sent me a letter two days before she died. Understand, Miss Walker, that had I known about this earlier, I would have informed you. I shall read you the document in my possession. And while he does that, I will remain silent so you guys can hear what he says. I am so very old. It seems that today life is slipping away from me more quickly than I imagined. And I fear that I will not be of this world to sign the takeover contract for my dear factory. So, I must make this confession to you now. My brother, Hans, is still alive. It would not surprise me if you find this difficult to believe, but it is indeed the truth. You must remember his death, his funeral, too. Even though you were very young at the time, it was but a sordid charade dreamt of by our father. To him, the very idea that his only son should wish to leave Valadilen and abandon the family business was unbearable. When Hans left, he preferred to think him dead and make everybody else believe this too. He obliged me to bear this terrible secret as well. I repeat that Hans is still alive. So when I die, it is he who becomes the sole and rightful heir of our factory. Okay, I see. If Hans Varlberg is not dead after all, then I just have to sign the contracts with him. I suppose you've already contacted him? Where can I reach him? The second half of the letter informs us that Hans Varlberg is somewhere in Siberia. I will leave the document in your hands to read. There's no need to really read this letter because obviously he read out the more important things in the letter. It's just that if you wanted a bit of a back, more of a background, like you know, know a bit more about them, then definitely read it. But at, at the moment, I don't see really any need to read the letter, so. Anna Varlberg had no further information to add? Unfortunately not, Miss Walker. I have told you as much as I know. The situation, in legal terms, is now clear. If you want to conclude this sale, you have to find Hans Vorbeck. Apparently, there is a body lying in the town cemetery. There also Ooh. seems to be some ghost wandering around Siberia. It You're talking about a ghost now? <laughs> Believe me, Miss Walker, when I say that I am most sorry for this regrettable setback. Most sorry. Great. What now, then? Perhaps you will find out more in the Vorlberg factory archives. You will find the key in the waiting room. My role in this affair finishes here with the reading of this letter. And now, if you will excuse me, I must rest. You see, my health is not excellent at the moment, and my doctor forbids me from working for too long. I will not detain you for any longer, Miss Walker. Do not forget to close the door as you go out. Goodbye, sir. All right, so we found out a lot of info there. We found out that her younger brother is actually alive. And he is obviously in Siberia. So that's what the whole game is about. To try and actually get to find Hans and get him to sign over the factory. Alrighty. Oh, we got some messages. Uh, reading? Nah. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> We're hunting some mammoths today. <laughs> yeah, definitely we might. And also, welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy the uh, stream and everything. <laughs> I love this game. And I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Is it Kefal? Kefal? If I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm really sorry. <laughs> All right, so 
Kefal is spot on. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, again, welcome to the channel. <laughs> okay, so I think where I'll go first is the uh, cemetery. Hey, run. There you go. Keep running, let's keep running, let's keep running, running, running. What do we do? We run. And we get a phone call. <laughs> Hello? Kate? Dan, I'm so pleased to hear your voice. Oh, it's our lover boy. How are you, honey? Did you have a good journey? I think. Yeah, in? definitely when he said honey. Long, <laughs> tiring, damp especially. But I'm okay. Especially when you... Everything going as planned? Nope. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, not really. It's not exactly what I thought it would be. You know, everything's so different here. Actually, while we're on the subject, I managed to free myself up from our lunchtime. I'll come and meet you at the airport. I hope the flight from Paris won't be delayed. We're expected at the Goldbergs about 8 o'clock. I hope you have the time to take a shower and change, my poor honey bun. Dan, I don't think the Goldbergs tomorrow night is really on. Don't worry, Kate. You'll be as perfect as ever. Anyway, you never have to wear much to look really great. Whoa, okay, Dan, dude. Jeez. Dan, Calm. I'm going to, have to extend my stay here. There's one or two complications. You understand? Hey, honey, what are you talking about? It's only a measly toy factory. The sale isn't going through as expected. I I've got to stay a bit longer. Dan, you don't mind, do you? But Kate, Katie, you can't do this to me. I mean, it's the Goldberg contract. There's millions of dollars on the line here. I know. I'm sorry. You go ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll get back as soon as I can. I promise. Okay, I, I, I've got to go. I'll call you back soon. Love you, honey. Well, that conversation could have gone a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so he's definitely not happy with us at the moment. Let's just keep going. I believe it's up here. From what I remember. Do, 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 do. Oh, let's talk to this guy. Good morning. Good morning. What a pleasure to meet such a lovely young lady honoring our aging streets. Please, uh, please sit yourself down next to me so we can enjoy the air together. It would be a pleasure, the air. but I'm afraid I don't have the time. <laughs> Some other time, maybe. I hope so, miss. I remember when these streets were full of vibrant life. In those days, there was a charming encounter to be had round every corner. Ah, our good little town of Valadilene is not what it used to be. It looks like things have changed a bit around here. Our children have all left the valley. They need to earn a living, don't they? Can't really blame them. You have to move with the times, don't you? And it's not at the Vorlberg factory that they'll find jobs. <laughs> Being excluded from the world is not an easy burden to bear, believe you me, miss. But it's such a pretty little village. Uh, I can tell you're not from these parts. I hope you enjoy the pleasures that we still have to offer. Good day to you. All right, and oh, Sig has redeemed Sing a Disney Song. Okay, is there any Disney song in particular that you would like me to sing? Seeing as I am such a big Disney fan, <laughs> I just hope I know which one you're going to actually say. <laughs> I'm not the best singer, by the way, guys, but sing your fave. Oh, great. Uh, that's the problem. I have quite a few favorites. <laughs> uh, let me think. All right, I'll only sing like a little bit of it then, okay? And I know Sig loves this one when I sing it to him because he loves the film so, so much. Let it go, let it go, can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go, turn away and slam the door. There, <laughs> my voice died. <laughs> Oh, that's a bit mean. Why say that? <laughs> See, you should have actually said one. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, he actually hates Frozen. <laughs> the things I do. 
Yeah, you actually clicked the back button there. <laughs> yeah, I should have. Yeah, because you could have said Hercules. <laughs> That's on you. You didn't specify. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so what's new? Oh, it's our boss. Problem, <laughs> what problem? Come on, Kate, don't beat around the bush. There's maybe an heir. What? Hans, Anna Varlberg's brother. Uh, Man, looks like Kate is a busy alive. social bee. That she is, definitely. <laughs> what? What is this? Where does this mystery brother come from? And more to the point, where is he? What did the notary say? <gasps> nothing. I mean, nothing else. You know, sir, it's an odd town here. Everything's odd. The people, things. The situation's not straightforward. I have a small bit of research to do. Listen to me, Kate. Universal Toys is one of our biggest clients. And I don't care how weird that town is. All that matters is that you do not set foot back in New York before you've tied up the deal. Get the picture. Yes, Mr. Marson. You can count on me. I... Darn it. Oh, I don't think our boss is happy. Oh dear. Right, I don't think we can go through there. I think we have to go around. We gotta get that lift open. Can we go this way? I might be wrong. Find new employment, Kate. That was borderline abusive. It was. It really, really was. Honestly, when you're working, do not put up with that sort of thing. Honestly, you gotta be treated fairly. You know. Thank you, Jesus. In there. Aha! We need these. Uh, we need that one. Thank you. E. Give me. Okay. And that. There we go. Grab that. And there should be this one here. There we go. We got it. Woohoo! I can't believe I actually remember how to do that. <laughs> All right. I hope everybody's enjoying the uh, stream so far, though. I'm so I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> this is one of my favorite games, so it's like yes. <laughs> so enjoyable. Oh, oh, it's that puzzle thing. Uh, okay, tiny would fit there, I think. Small, there. Large, there. Medium, there. Pull the lever, there we go, we did it. Woo! Can't believe I actually remember that drawing. <laughs> Mind you, the little things on there actually work. Wrong lever! <laughs> yeah, Emperor's new groove. Wrong lever! <laughs> okay. Aw, birdies! Okay. Uh. Ah, the cards. Uh. Right, but we're opening up her. Uh, the cemetery, so. And that's what this is going to do. So we need to pick the one for funerals. And from what I remember, that is purple? Did I do it? <laughs> oh, this is spooky. Did I call the dead? We're going to have zombies coming out. Oh, it worked. 
Okay. <laughs> I no longer need these punch cards. Oh, so do I have to drop them? Oh, okay. It did it automatically. <laughs> I can't remember if it did that or not. Okay. Down we go. My god, is it like a, a weight checker? Like if it's heavy, it just goes down. <laughs> Okay. Go down this way. From what I remember, there's nothing down here. We can go down that way, but from what I remember, there's nothing there. I remember the first level. Easy. I can remember it. The second, third, and fourth areas. No go. <laughs> this key oh I think they need some uh, WD-40 on that <laughs> or something okay this is gonna be a bit weird <laughs> all right just through here and go further down Okay, so we have Isabel Vorlberg. I can't quite read that one. Uh, we have Anna. We got Hans that I can actually look at. Oh, okay. We got Jean Vorlberg, and we got Rudolf Vorlberg. I think that's a, the father, like the mother and the father. 1920 to 1938. Oh, so he was 18. Okay. Why is it open? Why? Oh, I don't want to see this. Oh, there's nothing in it. <laughs> I was expecting like... I don't even know what I was expecting, to be honest. I don't know. Mountainfall kills local figure. Okay. The Volberg family was struck by tragedy yesterday. Rudolf Volberg discovered the lifeless body of his son Hans at the bottom of the precipice. Precipice? <laughs> Loose rocks and poor visibility occasioned by the morning mist were probably the cause of the young man's fall. Okay. Oh, you were waiting for it to turn into a horror game. I actually was, to be honest. <laughs> I was kind of expecting, you know, like a decomposed body or something like that in there and then it was just empty <laughs> I was just like oh okay I, I, feel, I feel stupid <laughs> oh wait eight years ago he suffered a similar a similar serious accident from which he never fully recovered the full use of his mental fac oh okay oh interesting I got a cylinder okay that might come in handy later. I would imagine. <laughs> I thought I moved slow. Okay. Just very quickly, I'm just going to check that area before. Oh, Kate would have been happy to find the corpse means Hans is dead and all her troubles are solved. Yeah, that's actually true. That is very, very true. She would have been. <laughs> but unfortunately, no. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it definitely looks like a dead end. I can't really see anything except for going back. So, yep. Okay. Normally, you can tell where there's an item and stuff but that time there wasn't anything so okay we're making good progress people down we go see if that was me I probably would have fallen over and just rolled all the way down <laughs> that's how clumsy I am I'm just like wee <laughs> you know like when you're kids and like you get well, I don't know if it's the same for everybody, but like when you get put in a plastic barrel and then you just get pushed down a hill. 
Do you know what I mean, sick? You know, like when the barrel's on the side and they just push you down and then you literally just roll all the way down? Or was that just in my childhood where it was nuts? Yeah, oh good. <laughs> I was just about to say, is it just me who had that just then? <laughs> we were crazy kids. <laughs> crazy, crazy kids. Right. Telescopic key going there, I believe. Okay, do we need to twist this? Hey! <laughs> I'm a genius! The game, however, was not with that camera angle. What was that? Uh, I'll go this way. It's the house. Okay. Well, if they had a brain, the front door would be locked. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling the door's open? Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> the door's locked. But I've still got to get in there. I was kind of hoping that it would be just left open, like going, yeah, you know. It, it's already on, on like, gate, you know, lock and key. It'll be fine. No one will bother it. <laughs> I was kind of expecting that. Wow, they could have done better with the transitions there, from what I know. Uh, okay, that looks like that will probably need a key. Uh, I can imagine that door's locked as well. Go down this way. Do, 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 do. Oh, please tell me I don't have to go all the way through this maze. I hope not. <laughs> oh, lady. Good morning. You've got a magnificent garden here. And a very weird statue in the background. What is that? I love mazes. I don't. I, I get lost very easily. I, I'm not good with them. <laughs> oh, please don't talk about it. Since my gardener automaton broke down, there are weeds everywhere. You can't imagine how much work it takes me. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. We're not used to doing without our robot help here in Veladiland. But everybody says that we're going to have to get used to it. She blasphemed. She said robot. She blasphemed. Blasphemer. Oh, Sig says mazes are awesome. Am I the only one that's not really good with mazes here then? <laughs> Am I the only one? <laughs> Must be. Oh dear God, her head is broken. And she has no arms. Jesus. Nice boobs up. Uh, okay. Oh, well that gate's probably locked. Let's try this way. Oh, okay. We'll look inside. Is it a bug? Oh good, it's not. It's, oh, it's the key. We need that. I hope it's the key. <laughs> and not just a key. Okay, this would be a good time to run. I'm double clicking. No point. It's locked. Brilliant. Do 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 do. I can imagine me raging in this game later on, to be honest. Just always stick to the right or left wall. I'll try that next time. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid and we had like a cornfield maze and me, and me, my mum and my nana were trying to get through this maze and we literally have no sense of direction. We just kept on like getting lost, everything. I'm pretty sure we ended up in the same spot like 10 times. But the best thing is I had McDonald's straight after so that was nice. We didn't actually finish I the maze either. Oh, for... 
You have a key right there. Use your brain. Oh, no. I don't want to climb that. Oh, God. Okay, I'm, I, I'm going it up the ladder. Great, we're breaking and entering. Lovely. Is there really any point in doing this? Why not just go back and just say, you know what, he's dead, okay, we could call it a day. Let's go home, goodbye. We have ink. Is that Anna's diary? Yeah, it's Anna's diary. Wow. I am not reading all of this stuff. Nope. <laughs> I'm here to play a game, not to read. Watch it, there's something important in that book as well. <laughs> Alright. Go down here. Oh, okay. Uh, it's dark. Oh, light bulb. Okay. Press the light bulb. There's the switch. What's that noise? <gasps> oh, it's it's Momo! Mama. Damn it, Momo! You draw mamas for Momo? Oh, Momo, it's you. You scared me. Momo, why? Was that an actual noise for a fly? Okay. <laughs> what are you doing in here? Momo want mama's picture, like Han's picture. Sorry, I haven't got a picture of a mammoth with me. Take paper and pencil and draw mammoth for Momo. <laughs> you don't give up easily, do you? Wow, he really wants a picture of a mammoth. All right. Uh. Okay, we'll just start from the bottom and make our way, way up. Tell me, Momo, did you come here a lot with Anna? Mm-hmm. Anna like Momo. Anna like hands. Anna on journey. You know what? Momo's actually kind of cute in a way. It to live in a village full of automatons. Automatons made by hands. Difficult work. Hmm. When Momo big, he do like hands. Momo friend of automatons. Oh, so Hans came up with some of the automatons. But after his accident... Okay, I guess I'm getting it What's now. What's going to happen to you now that Anna is gone? Momo big now. They want Momo live at inn. Momo don't want. Momo take care of Momo. From what I've seen, you look pretty resourceful. Are you actually saying that to a kid that he should live on his own? You're a lawyer. This isn't actually a good suggestion here, love. Oh dear. Do you know if Anna came here often with Hans? Momo want Mama's picture. Like Hans' picture. Wow. Okay, then. I don't think you're really going to help then. I've got to go now. But see you later, maybe. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's see if there's anything with, like, a mammoth or something on it. Oh. <laughs> I see it literally right there. Okay. <laughs> I was expecting, like, an actual, like notebook or something that has like a mammoth in it or something like that not like an etching in the wall <laughs> all right then <laughs> oh for god's sake i wasn't really expecting that one <laughs> i know i've played this before but certain parts of it i really can't remember and that bit i couldn't remember oh god's sake i'm blinded by the light of the paper again what is it with games wanting to blind you? I have eyes to play the game. I need my eyes. I did it again. There we go. <laughs> right. Da, 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 da. Take your tracing picture. Take it, Momo. Be happy. There's a mammoth right there for you. I think he's happy. Thank you. Momo happy. Now follow Momo. 
Momo show his secret to Kate. Secret? Oh, okay. But, 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 but. What happened just then? He just floated. Where's he going? Oh, for God's sake. Where's he going? Run, woman, run. He's literally on the run. Yeesh. This is why you shouldn't leave kids alone. <laughs> you don't know where they're going. And he's gone again. Oh, no he's not. I see his head. I see the head at the bottom of the screen. Oh, he, he vanished. Oh, okay. <laughs> he poofed. There he is. And there he goes. God damn it, kid. Slow down. There's no rush. It's a day of mourning, damn it. You down here? up an area for us. Cool. Right. Just give me a minute, I need to stretch out. Ooh, ow, my legs. Oh, there we go. I'm good. Right. <laughs> Let's carry on. Okay. Cross the bridge. Up here we go. Why is there so many stairs in this game? Why? All right. I hope everyone's still enjoying the stream. Um, if you haven't yet, don't forget you can always follow the channel as well. So when I'm streaming again and everything, you'll be notified. Um, this game is definitely going to be a continuation on this channel. So um, I'll be basically completing it and I'll be doing the second one as well. So keep your eyes peeled. I did the back button again. Bloody hell. <laughs> Press the right buttons, bunny. It will help you. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Already have. Oh, good. <laughs> nice to see you again, by the way. <laughs> There you are, Momo. This is some walk you've taken me on. I've got to say, though, it sure is mighty pretty. Momo come here often. Momo like make splash in water. Yeah, making splashes in water is actually fun. Oh, while I remember as well, we have a Discord server for our guild called Avalon, where basically me, Sigmith, and a couple of the streamers basically have our community and we do like you know com like collaboration streams we do community events and everything like that on there so yeah <laughs> oh i'm just listening to you as i play final fantasy 14 oh good good game <laughs> thank you again <laughs> oh and sig is it's posted the discord server link so make sure you check that out Oh, you're going to tackle the new Siberia? I haven't played it myself. Uh, I will do in the future. I haven't actually got it just yet, but I should do soon. Um, we'll just have to see what happens. But it's definitely a plan. That's definitely going to happen, for sure. Alright, so I already did these. Uh, mission? Why have you brought me here? Mammoth doll in cave. Very important for hands, Anna says. Cave? What cave? Where? Momo, not liar. I didn't say you were a liar. I didn't say. I'm innocent. Momo, 
I've got to go now. But see you later, maybe. Okay, let's see if we can... Is the cave down here? Well, it is, but we can't seem to get across by the looks of it, can we? I can't go that way. Yes, you can. Get your legs wet. Walk through. Uh, okay, let's go down here then. Stop pressing that button. <laughs> Typical me, keeping on pressing the wrong button. I hate games that do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't forget all the bunny streams are uploaded here if you want more bunny chaos. Yes, there is. Hand, and there's also an, uh, the uh, YouTube exclusive channel called Cutie Bunny Bites as well. Um, which is the same link, just at Cutie Bunny Bites. B-Y-T-E-S. Uh, the link will be on that YouTube channel there as well. Um, there is actually my very first upload on that one, which is for Disney Dreamlight Valley. So please make sure you check it out. Thank you. Right, now I need to open up this damn dam. Momo. Help, please. I need Momo, assistance. I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo, listening. Hey, can you help me, please? What do? Help me open the dam. Um, Momo strong. Okay, well, help me open it, please. Open sesame. Come on, you can do it, Momo. Push. Push with all your might. Too much might. Too much. Oops. He broke it. <sighs> all right, I'll pick it up. How on earth did I fit that in my coat? I did it again. Ah, God's sake, that, that's a typical me, isn't it? Mm. Right. Uh, is there something that I'm missing down here? The boat? Oh. You, really? You think that will that work? Okay, game. Alright. I'm assuming she can't just reach for it. So I'm guessing I'll have to pull it across. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. That floor is all dirty and wet. Well, it would be. It was in the water. Now pick it up. Ugh. That floor is all dirty and wet. Pick it up. Ugh. That floor is all dirty and wet. Don't be a woman. Pick it up. Ugh. That floor is all dirty and wet. I hate this woman. Okay then, Miss Princess over here can't get her hands dirty. Momo. Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo, listening. Yeah, can you help me again? Apparently I'm too much of a princess to pick up wood. Momo, I've got to go now. But see you later. What? Maybe. I did not click Momo. back. I clicked I've got help. something else I want to ask you. Momo, listening. Help. I've moved the ore nearer. There we go. Be a good boy and carry it for me. Momo say yes. I feel sorry for this boy. We're literally just getting him to just pick up stuff that she doesn't want to pick up because she's like, Oh, James, I don't want to pick it up now. It'll spoil my nails. God damn it, Kate. I'm laughing at listening to you talk shit about the main character. Well, it's true. I mean, come on. It's like... <laughs> Just pick up the damn ore. It's right there. You need it. Pick it up. <laughs> she needs to stop being a woman and just pick it up. I can imagine this being clipped. 
to be honest. That bit where I'm just going off on one with the character. Oh dear me. How is this I've going to work though? It's a lot thinner than the thickness of the rod for the lever. Lever. Something. Can you help me please? What do? How is this going to work? Opening the dam. Mom will say yes. Mom will strong. Well, at least he's saying different lines. But honestly, how is this going to work? Look at how thick that lever is there compared to the ore. How on earth? It's not going to work. It's going to snap. It is so going to snap. What? What? Momo very strong. Thank you, Momo. It worked. What is that all made out of? Metal? Carbon? What is it made out of? It would it should have it it should Never mind. Game logic. Apparently it is invincible. Unless it's in water. Cause then Kate won't touch it. All right, let's go inside then. Let me guess, you need a torch. Oh no, you're fine, okay. Oh, nice pictures of the mammoths. Stop pressing that button, bunny. Goodness sake. You underestimate oars massively. You know what kind of strength they need when you row a boat that really hard. Yeah. Actually, you got a point there. Yeah, that, that's a very good point. <laughs> I didn't really think that through, did I? <laughs> uh, shall we just say I had a bit of a dumb moment there then? <laughs> Stop pressing that button. I need like a red sticker on that button or something. Done in this area, I believe. Oh, phone call. Is our boss having a go at us again? Hello? Kate? Is it you? Well, oh. yeah. Who did you to be think fair, it, it could be just a paddle for uh, leisure paddling. Then it could be cheap all. wood. Be yeah. Oh, the I don't really know that Let's much go. about boats. Right. <laughs> lucky, I don't really know. I never get that kind of well, so far all I've seen of Europe is this tiny village, and frankly, they're not very hospitable. Well, the whole case is getting really complicated. There's this surprise air I've got to find. I know. I talked to Lynn who bumped into Scott and she had coffee with a head on to the uh, He didn't sound at all. Go talk. Great. I'll just ignore this bit. I'll just zone now on this bit. <laughs> yeah, I get the picture. But so, how about yourself? What's up at work? You lost the Sarah Lou trial. I worked five months on that dumb thing. I remember. So, for a bit of therapy, I went to Boomy. The sale started yesterday. Wow, lucky. And they're talking about shopping. Absolute Great! Absolute mayhem. You know that blue silk top I wanted? Guess how much I got it for. 50 quid? I don't know. 250? 200? What? A hundred and forty dollars. <laughs> what? Just get yourself back here and I'll go down with you. <sighs> like it's my choice. Look, I gotta go. A hundred and forty dollars on a I top? I want a blow-by-blow account of every moment of your great adventure. What? Get out of here. Look after yourself. You too. Why yeah, would you spend that much on clothes? A hundred and forty dollars? I don't care if it's made out of gold lace or something. Why would you spend that much on a top? Now on a games console, that's more that's more like it. A TV, yeah, that makes sense. Totally. But a top? No. <laughs> that's extreme. 
To be fair though, you'd be lucky if I just spend like 20 quid on a top, to be honest. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> oh, I do when it comes to hunting. Oh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> because they're like specialist stuff, isn't it? So that does make sense. But when it's just like a top, like that much, you know what I mean? That's, uh, that. I don't know. <laughs> It makes sense when you're getting like specialist stuff and everything but when you're just getting like a top just so then you feel good and look good i don't get it maybe i'm just a cheap skate i don't know <laughs> run kate there we go Keep on running. Come on. You can do it. Good, Kate. Okay, I think next stop we have to go to the factory. Oh, I'm cheap also when it comes to everyday clothes. Yeah, exactly. Because it just, you have other stuff that you need to get. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, like, if you like your hunting and stuff like that, you know, you need to have the specialist stuff. But for every day, you're going to be spilling food all over it anyway. Well, if you eat like me anyway, you will. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, it just... Stop pressing a button! It's just one of those where it's just, like, just... I don't know. It's strange to me. Oh, wait, 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 I just thought that I think there's something that I need to do before I actually do this bit. Before I actually go... Uh, stop pressing it! I think we go up here. I have Sigmith literally right next to me just giggling. Why are you giggling, Sig? <laughs> Yeah, Sig, bless him. He's actually moderating. <laughs> button. Yeah, definitely button. Oh. When I was in high school, I wore name brand. Now, I don't give... Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, when you're in high school, it is kind of like you're trying to keep up appearances in a way, isn't it? You know? So, I get it with that, but when you're older, I, I, well, for me anyway, it is literally just like, you know what? I don't care. I really don't care. I'll wear... You know, I wear jeans and t-shirt if you're lucky, basically. Other times I would just wear like leggings or something because they're comfy. To be fair, I don't even really wear any makeup either. I wear it when I go out for like a party and stuff, but that's it. Right, let's go in. Oh, that's a cute little tiny bird on the fence. Alright. Nice! We're in the factory. Alright, now where do I go? Uh, oh, okay, let's go down there. Let's see. See what we need to do. I'm pretty sure we might need to get power in the factory somehow. I think it's actually through here. Where the hell am I? <laughs> oh, this looks promising. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this contraption? Um. Okay, we'll just start our way across and make our, uh, make our way down. Okay. Uh, pull the lever. Hopefully this is the right one. What the heck? Oh, I get it. It's like the mouse in the spinny wheel, isn't it? Oh. That, that doesn't do anything? I thought that would. Okay. Uh, what about this one then? Will that connect it or something? What's this do? We got power. Sweet. I wonder what the townspeople are thinking though when I turn this on. 
They're probably going to be like, uh, what's going on? Yeah, the day of mourning's over, people. We're back to work. Uh, okay, let's go down here. I won't go upstairs just yet. Uh, let's go through here. Oh, for God's sake, we're getting another phone call. Who is it? Yes, hello? Hey, what happened to you, my poor munchkin? I've been trying to contact you for hours. I'm in Europe, Ma. Job thing. I was just about to say, is that our mother? Europe? My God. Oh, I've got such happy memories of Europe. Some of them even involve your father, but uh, that's about that. Tell me, where are you? Paris? London? Venice? Valadie Lynn. Yeah. I know, it's a bit out in the boonies. What in the world are you doing out there? You know, business. I've got to see through the takeover of some old family business that's got a few debts. It's a really charming place, but there's one or two weird things going on here. I, I can't go into it now. Oh, well, that's right. Your old mother's too dumb to understand. Oh, for God's sake, Ma. Your father sometime. Mother. Kate, you'll never guess who I saw yesterday. Ma, I haven't got a lot of time, home pudding. You know. I don't know. Frank! Frank, Ma, who's Frank? Please. I've got to go. Frank! Frank Malkovich, the Russian opera singer. Well, oh, I, I made a joke about Inglebert home pudding. <laughs> and then apparently it's an opera singer. All right, um, I was pretty close then, I suppose. We spent it. Mom, I really have to go. I'll call you back, I promise. Lots of love. Hey! My god, she sounded like a kid then, didn't she? Like going, Kate? Mom? Shush! Yeesh. Alright. Huh? Okay, let's see what this does. Is this a little spinny spin? Oh, Jesus, it's alive! Okay. It's like holding on to it like Oraka does in My Hero Academia when she's got the bomb. Like <laughs> the legs and arms just out. Just like, I got it! <laughs> okay, I don't know what that does. It just disappeared for a few frames. I disappeared for a few frames. What was that? Okay, um, I did something. Okay, uh, door. Can I go through the door, please? Because I believe there is a character who's important to the story in here. There he is! There's my boy! But hey, we found him! It's not Hans, by the way. In case anyone's wondering. <laughs> He's not just tied up, just like, yeah, hello, can people get me down, please? I've been alive for, like, ages. I'm stuck. And I have no feet. <laughs> hey. Hey, my boy. How's it going? Oh. Many thanks indeed. I am most embarrassed for you to see me like this. I lack a certain completion. You see, nobody here yeah, found the time to feet. polish off the finishing touches. Honestly, these days, we really have lost the art of good workmanship. Uh, yeah, maybe. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? Could you please state your identity, articulating clearly? My name is Kate. Kate Walker. Allow me to introduce myself. I am model XZ2000. My common name is Oscar. Hi, Oscar. I represent the technological zenith of this factory's production. I have been designed to drive zenith. a locomotive. That's a, that, that, a touch that, that, messy, okay. <laughs> but an essential task. Hey, okay. Let's go for production. Can I be of use to you? Why, you certainly can. I absolutely must have my feet. My hands are model XZ2003. My feet. Our model XZ2005 underscore B. Be careful. 
the model XZ2005 underscore A has evidenced some rather embarrassing performance failures. Like bugs? Automatons do not have bugs, Kate Walker. They simply display functional idiosyncrasies. I'm sorry, I didn't know. What do I have to do to get you a pair of feet? Use the assembly line to construct them. You will need a production punch card. On which okay. is recorded my body design data. And that's why Here's we needed to get the power card. in the factory because okay. we need to uh, build Thank his you, feet. Okay. Now we're not finished with him just yet. We need to ask a few more questions. Has it been a long time since you last saw Anna Vorlberg? 72 hours, 32 minutes, and 20 seconds to be precise. That's this really precise. Explains the delay in my production process. Anna Vorlberg is dead, Mr. Oscar. What do you mean by the notion of death, Kate Walker? Oh, that's an awkward Broken. question. Disactivated. Worn out. Damaged. Unplugged. Oh, that really is most bothersome. Oh, well, that actually worked quite well. <laughs> Alright, um... Train? You said you were a train engineer? What train would that be? But Kate Walker, you have not seen the magnificent train waiting at the station? I don't even know where and the station is. where is that train going, Mr. Oscar? The train is going far away. Very, very far away indeed. Are you taking any passengers? My duty is to drive the train. Above all, to avoid delays. An engineer prides himself on punctuality. I will agree with you though, Kate Walker. That a train without passengers is hardly a train at all. You haven't answered my question. Not quite. I mean, it For could be one of those trains that just delivers products and stuff like that around the, you know, the countries and stuff like that. Could just be those. Right? I don't know. <laughs> Does the name Hans Vorlberg mean something to you? Of course. He created me. But I'm sorry to say that I am yet to meet my maker. Have you any idea where he might be right now? No, Kate Walker, but I am sure I would experience great metaphysical satisfaction in his presence. Can you talk normal? There's so many big words going on that just then. I was like, what do you mean? Uh, mission. Do you know where I could find the factory paperwork? I cannot reply to this question with precision. Try Anna Vorlberg's office above the machine floor. All right, now we know where we're going for the paperwork. Oscar, I am delighted to <laughs> meet you. See you again soon, I hope. Yes, Kate Walker. We will definitely see him soon because we need to give him his feet. See you in a bit, Oscar. All right, off we go. Through here. Up the stairs. And what we'll do before we actually build the feet, we'll check out the office, which I believe is right here. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at a desk, see the paperwork. All right. So first off, we've got the train sketches. They actually look pretty cool. Okay. Uh, letters. Oh, she was writing a letter to her brother. Oh, oh, the voice cylinder. Oh, okay, the voice cylinders. And she must have died right in the last time. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, that's morbid. Bailiffs. Oh, jeez, okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, they look really bad letters, to be honest. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. Invoices, invoices, more invoices. I never knew the factory was in such a bad way financially. These last two years must have been very hard for Anna Vorlberg. What do you mean you don't know how bad the finances are? She's clearly selling the company for a reason, which is, at the end of the day, money. You kind of have to know. Or at least put two and two together. Yeesh. I don't think being a lawyer is really a good thing for Kate. I don't think she's really cut out for it. Uh, what am I looking at? <laughs> okay. Um, this, uh, uh, oh. 
Oh, there's a book sticking out. Okay. Oh. I did a thing. I was just about to say, do I have to hear the whole music or something? Alright, uh, well, that's the music one. That's Oscar's card. Yeah, I can't really put the toy doll in there. Yeah, that's the one I need. That's the one that we found in um, Hans's coffin. So let's see what this actually does. That's actually okay, really cool. Okay. I, Anna Vorlberg, swear to my brother Hans to never ever mention this to anyone. It's the cave, isn't it? It's right there! Yeah, it's See? the cave. But it's dark in there. Don't worry, I took a lantern. From the factory. Girls, honestly. You won't look so clever when Father notices you've stolen one of his lanterns. Mm. Ooh, burn. Because of you. Look, well, no offense, but you're going into a cave. What do you think's gonna happen? You're I've covered in bubbles. Like this in a library book. They're like you swore, Anna. It's a secret between you and me. Hey, look, there's something else up there. Oh, come on. It's like a toy. Oh, it's the it's the mammoth doll. I have to have it. Give me some light. But Hans, it's much too high. Oh, this is the first fall, isn't it? Hands. He's after that doll. Oh, yep, there you go. You got your foot in. Hans, be careful. Oh no. And there we go. Yeah. For weeks, my brother lay in a coma, hanging between life and death. And then one morning, he opened his eyes. But I knew he would never be the same again. We never did return to the cave. And to this day, I've never ever betrayed our secret. Wow. Well, you, oh, okay, it broke. <laughs> All right. There we go. Um, yep, yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. Well, we know what exactly happened then. So he was trying to get the mammoth doll, and then obviously he fell and. He was in a coma for weeks, and after that, he ended up just not being the same, like, mentally. Okay, so that's how it happened. Poor Hans. Only one two was that doll. Oh, dear. Alright. Let's see what we can do with Oscar, then. See if we can fix him up. Yeah, we've got power. We need three. There we go. Perfect. I believe that's the only one that's working. Yeah, the rest of them aren't working, so there's no point having them on. We need the card. Okay. I don't think that's the right one. Didn't I have a... Uh... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is it this one? Yeah, this one. On the second page, that's the type of wood that we need. And that one looks quite similar. Let me see if there's any... Yeah, that's the only one that seems to match. Okay, so it's not this one, so it must be this one to trigger it, right? There we go. See, this is why I like this game, because it does actually give you very subtle hints for what you need to do. But it doesn't baby you through them. I like it. That's not the... Oh, there it, it is. Okay, I thought it wasn't the type of wood that I chose.
Wait, how on earth did they get the boots? How did they get the boots? It was just wood that we used, right? We didn't select leather or fabric or anything like that. It was just the wood. How on earth? Okay, I'm not even gonna ask. Run, woman! Oh, fine, walk then. She's like, I'm not rushing. I don't want him. There you go, now you're running. Now we're getting there. Uh, oh, okay, this one. Aha, there they are. That's what we need. Perfect. All right, so let's give these back to Oscar. Down here. There we go. I think I need to get like a proper mouse because at the minute I'm using the uh, mouse pad on my laptop, so I think I might need to do that. There we are. I hope these are your correct feet, my here good are man. Your feet, Oscar. I hope they fit. Kate Walker, I see you managed to produce two XZ2005 underscore B models. Yay, we did the right feet. Are they like magnets or something in there then? Nice. Yep, he's happy. <laughs> Allow me to express a real feeling of joy, Kate Walker. They really suit you. Comfy? Very. You are very kind, well Kate done. Walker. Well done, get in the right I am to sorry to have to challenge. Oh, thank Where you very you much. Thank you. I must find my train. <laughs> its departure I kind of remembered what I had to do in a way when I first played this when I was a lot younger. But it was just one of those where it was like, I'm pretty sure that's the right one because in the booklet it had it in there, didn't it? like just randomly there <laughs> so thank you honestly thanks I have a feeling I'm gonna struggle with the levels later on though that's for sure because I remember in one of the areas there's like a, an organ or something in order to like make a cocktail from what I remember and I had a feeling that that one's gonna be a pain We are done in the factory, so I believe we need to go to the uh, train station, wherever that is. Oh, there is no real hint which wood you need to pick. It's supposed to be colour related, but the colour doesn't fit whatsoever. So it was a one in six chance to get it right, really. Oh, okay. I just thought that that booklet was a bit of a hint. That's how I saw it all the time, but hey. I got it right though, yay! <laughs> That's the main thing, I got it right. <laughs> and I had a feeling it was that path because that was the only path I didn't really go down. Here we go. All right. And I believe we're at the train. Yeah. Okay. Oscar should be on here, so we'll be able to talk to him, see what's going on. In we go. Oh, I just noticed as well that my... Um, stream labels like for recent follower and stuff like that isn't actually working properly at the moment i know exactly why that is and that will be fixed for the uh, next stream so apologies on that one i just noticed just then like literally an hour 35 minutes into the stream how observant am i <laughs> so yeah sorry about that guys <laughs>
Hey there, Oscar. My functions do not permit me familiarity, Kate Walker. Even if you are my first and only passenger. What? Me? Your passenger? But I gotta get yes, back you, to the Kate high Walker. life in uh, New York. For that reason you so I can get that silk process? top worth $140. So. Uh, we'll just go straight to mission. I... I have decided to come along for the ride, Oscar. Well, that took a lot of convincing. Ready when you are. Your ticket, please? Eh? My ticket? I don't have one. What are you talking about? I don't have a ticket. The rules clearly state, Kate Walker, every passenger of this train must possess a ticket. I okay. don't have one. And where do I get hold of a ticket? Only the ticket vendor may issue tickets. You are in luck. The ticket office must be open now. You should go there immediately. He's a ticket man, isn't he? He's gonna be giving me the ticket. He's definitely gonna be giving me the ticket. Oh, I have a feeling this is gonna annoy me. Uh, this side, right? He is, he's giving me the ticket. Oh, baby now. <laughs> Oscar, just let me on. Let me go. Bloody but hell, man. It's you? <laughs> what can I do for you, madam? A ticket. But Oscar, it's me, Kate Walker. Correct. Your name is indeed Kate Walker. Thank you for clarifying that. What can I do for you, Kate Walker? A train ticket, please. Why? Do you sell anything else? The only function of this ticket office is to issue tickets. You are requested to accelerate operations. The office closes in exactly three minutes. What can I do Three for minutes? You? you only just opened. A ticket, please. One ticket? Yes. Yes. One ticket. What is your final destination? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's you who told me I had to get a ticket. A ticket to travel then. Yeah, that, that works. Yeah, that definitely works. Bloody hell. That's a big ticket. Oh, oh, <laughs> Ray Alfilter's practice. Oh, it's the authorization. Oh, stamped by the recognized permitting authority. Oh, I gotta get it stamped. Oh, so I gotta go all the way back to Alfilter's in order to get it stamped. So then I can actually go. For God's sake. Do not lose it. This office is not entitled to produce duplicates. This advice also applies to the accompanying documentation. What's that? The authorization for the release of the train. The ticket officer may ask you for it at any time. But you're the ticket but master. I mean, Can you, you just take the... it? Attention! Oh. The exact moment has arrived to close this office. Oscar, for God's sake, I will take those boots off you. Ugh. Right, okay, fine. I'll go and get it stamped. Goodness sake. I forgot how annoying Oscar is at this point. So we have two annoying main characters. We have Kate who's annoying for not picking up that ore because it's all yucky and wet. And now we have Oscar because he's just not letting me progress with the game. Oh boy. I forgot how annoying this bit can be. Let's go to El Voltaire's, get that stamp. Can I have some bread later? No? Okay, never mind. I wanted a snack, but I guess I can't even have a snack. God damn it. Up the stairs we go. Let me in. Alpha Dare, can I have the stamp, please? Hello? Oh no, I forgot the notary will be resting. Uh, how? Oh. Okay, great. Now I'm going behind the desk in order to get it stamped. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, da 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 da. Oh, I don't. Take. Here we go. Uh,. Oh! 
Now are you doing it? Yay! There we go. Stamped. Perfect. Can I leave now? I want to leave now. Please let me go. I want this level to be done. No. What? What do you mean no sick? What do you mean? Why not? Oh. Yeah, there's two other steps, isn't there? Ugh. Go put my bloody stuff in there. And then I gotta wind up the train because it's one of those clockwork things, isn't it? Why is nothing simple? Why can't I just go? Might as well wind up the train first because it's outside. Ah, right, let's go in. There we go. Uh, oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> It's like, could I just cross over to the other side of the train? But I might as well just go across. Uh, can I just go down here? Or do I have to go across? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I do have to go across then. I can't go further down, can I? Oh, flaming hell. Alright, let's go across then. Cut through that way. Someone's sweeping. I hear him whistling. Hey, dude! I can't talk to you. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> hey again, dude. How's it going? <laughs> going the wrong way. Oh, flaming hell. There we go. Aha! That's what we need. Why did you run that way? That didn't make any sense. And a pull. There we go. Wind up the train. There we go. Okay. Now let's go on the train. Go up here. I think I need to tell some people that I'm actually going to go somewhere else. Like my boyfriend. And my boss. Kate, it's me again. Oh, speaking Damn. of which. I was going to call <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah. Are you mad at me? I've just called Marson and Lormont. They told me you weren't expected to return this week. Oh, yeah. We're in trouble. So when are you coming home? I don't know. There's nothing I can do about it. The situation is kind of tricky, you know. At the beginning of next week, I hope. Yeah, whenever. Dan, please. Just hang He's in being there, being a okay? bit of a baby. The stakes are higher than I thought. And you know how much I love this job. I suppose it's neither here nor anywhere to you that the Goldbergs are going to... It is. I mean, it isn't. I mean, Dan, this really isn't the moment. You know I'm thinking about you. What's so important about the Goldbergs? I'll give you a call when I have some news. Promise. I've got to go now. I've got kind of a, a train to catch. A train? Where are you off to now? This is crazy, Kate. I actually don't know where I'm going. No idea. I've no Love clue. You. you know that. Kate! I think our relationship's on the rocks. Oh, dear. I'm not going to talk to you, Oscar, just yet. I have items to put back in. Alright, so we've got to do this one here. And we 
got a... I think the toy goes here. Yep. And then in here... We gotta put these. There we go. Nice. Now that should be everything from what I remember. So we need to give him the release permit first. And then the ticket. And then that's this map done. Here. This is your stupid train release ratification, Oscar. Thank you, Kate Walker. That is perfect. Okay. Now, the ticket. Let's make sure that we did everything. They'll probably tell us if we've not. Is everything good? Is it good? Right. Everything is in order then. The train is finally ready to leave. I am most terribly hey. embarrassed. Such ignorance on my part is inadmissible. <laughs> I hope you still have confidence in my abilities, Kate Walker. Please return to your seat and we can leave. Finally. But hey, we did it, people. We did the area for Valadie Land. Nice. We did it. Off we go. have arrived at our second location which looks a bit like a birdhouse okay let's find out a bit of where info. are we Oscar at the halls of residence of Barockstadt University and do we really have to stop here the situation is incompatible with the pursuit of our journey what are you waiting for then? Wind them up, find a way. There must be some sort of train winding thing just laying around in this weirdo station. I have seen nothing that fits that description, Kate Walker. I guess we'd better find out then. I do not like this station. The atmospheric humidity is detrimental to my sophisticated wheel workings. I will wait for you inside the train. <sighs> Wimp. <laughs> That is definitely one way of wording it, for sure. Oscar, see you later, alligator. In a while, Kate Walker. Oh, that's actually kind of sweet. All right. So, I'm actually going to be ending the stream here for today. I'll save it in a moment. Um, thank you all very, very much for joining me today. I very much appreciate it. If you haven't yet, don't forget to follow in order to um, stay up to date and everything when I'll be streaming next. I should actually be streaming next in a couple of days. Fingers crossed if everything goes well. And we will be continuing the adventures of Kate Walker and Oscar. <laughs> thank you all very, very much for joining me. And I hope to see you for the next one. Bye for now. Oh, before I go, actually, we got the link for the Discord again, just in case if you want to check it out. See you later, guys.